First of all, it's good to see everyone. I apologize for any inconvenience with moving practice up and obviously the basketball game, so we'll get you back. But we had some things come up, the ever world of recruiting and some different things with practice, so uh, we had to bump everything up. I'd like to first start off uh, with our thoughts and prayers in the Auburn football program and Jaquel Mitchell and uh, the tragedy that occurred there. And I just, again, our football team, our football program has them in our thoughts and our prayers. So uh, good to get back to work today. Uh, kind of get the rust off a little bit. Our players have been in uh, strength and conditioning mode but to get back and play football, very short practice, about an hour. But just getting them in football condition, uh, getting back to the fundamentals. Uh, we'll take tomorrow off in terms of practice structure just because our coaches now uh, with the dead period in recruiting will be an opportunity to go game plan now, uh, watch a lot of Iowa video, and then our players will be in the strength and conditioning room and then we will resume practice on Tuesday. So I'll answer any questions you may have. great resiliency this entire football team has shown great resiliency all year and the youthfulness and you know Jalen Hurd didn't even play in the UT Chattanooga game and uh, he just continued to battle and battle and there's a lot of great stories and a lot of positive things that are going on here and very proud of our players again but the amount of adversity the perseverance everything that we've asked of them you know the play 24 true freshmen is very difficult in terms of not only the physicality and the development, but the mindset. Because you're trying to develop a mindset where they're going against junior and senior laden football teams in the SEC and will play an older veteran team in Iowa as well. But uh, very proud of what this football team's been able to accomplish. But now the next goal and challenge is our bowl preparation and winning the bowl game. Which we didn't see Daniel now. Yeah, Daniel's decided that uh, he's gonna go to another school and. We wish him the best, and uh, we'll help in any way we can. Is there anything more on, on Hendricks? It's hard just got to Yeah, uh, Dwayne Hendricks, uh, Darrell Scott will also be uh, looking at other schools. And again, we thank them for everything they've given to Tennessee and uh, wish them the best in moving forward. Was that was it playing time for those guys? Every individual has a different reason, a little a different uh you know, circumstance for that, but the only thing we can do is thank them and and uh, help them and provide help uh, with finding another school, whatever they wish to do. <clears throat> with Jalen, do you get a sense of how high his ceiling is or what his potential is? He has unlimited potential, and uh, he works exceptionally hard. He's very tough. Uh, he's tough physically, but he's tough mentally as well, and that shows. And, uh, I thought he did a very good job of really taking care of his body. So I'm excited, you know, the progress that he's shown, and I'm excited for the future as well. You seem to kind of bouncing Josh Malone's stuff, just, just from having a little time off. Yeah, Josh, uh, coming out today, Josh looked like the Josh Malone that we saw in training camp in the middle of the year. I think he's really benefited from uh, the extra time off, and he's done a great job uh, also in the, you know, in the training room. And so I thought Josh had his legs about him. You could see that his injuries are starting to heal up. It was great to have him back and have his presence in terms of a speed standpoint, great energy. So yeah, I think Josh is one of those individuals that benefited from the time off. Coach, one of the benefits, not just from a practice standpoint, but this month, particularly for the younger guys, what are the values, not just on the field, but off the field? Well, there's so much. Uh, you know, it's continuing to elevate your game, obviously, on the field with the extra practices, but in the strength and conditioning room, uh, monumental. You know, they would be home right now. And, you know, a lot of these individuals have gone through an in-season strength and conditioning program as opposed to a developmental program. So to be able to get them back in the weight room, uh, get them spending time with their teammates, the football intelligence part of studying more film, so it's, it's invaluable. And I know it's tough for a lot of these individuals uh, because it's the first time being away from their families in the holidays. Uh, they're gonna have a few days off to be able to go home. So that's part of that maturation process as well. But it's, it's invaluable 
uh, these bowl experiences and bowl practices. And then to be able to actually experience a first class bowl like the Tax Slayer Bowl and the standard, the expectations, the opportunity to compete in front of a national audience on January 2nd, you know, the benefits are, you know, they continue to, to grow because it's big for us. Well, you've had these experiences in the past and five that your teams that have had this month of preparation in addition to the bowling, they go into spring and off season condition as a closer knit unit? Well they do. They you know it's it's more opportunities for this football team to be together. Also from leadership we'll we'll start basically our off season personal growth and development series and program actually while we're at bowl preparation we'll have our seniors talk what it meant to be a Tennessee Vol kind of the uh, uh, things that they could do it all over again their experiences uh, that they that they've had here so we'll have some leadership seminars as well so it's incredible and the other uh, thing that I think uh, can't go unnoticed is uh, the individuals that graduated uh, yesterday was very very big for us and we'll have the most college graduates performing on uh, in a bowl game I believe than any other school in the country and we're double checking that stat but I received that stat a couple weeks ago so again I'm just very very proud of them too and seeing all their families in that special day of, of graduation was big for our football program as well. Butch, for you when you look at what you were doing this time last year and the players were doing this time last year how special is it that they have Oh, it's very special. And having our players come back today and feeling their energy, uh, their camaraderie, their mindset, uh, their approach has been great. And, you know, sometimes we're humans. We need that as coaches as well. But they came with a workmanlike mentality. But, again, just the overall development, uh, you know, the these individuals, we talk about digging for gold every day. And a lot of people quit when that gold is one or two shovels in front of them. And you have to keep digging, keep digging, keep digging. And that's what this football team has done. And, uh, you know, they're going to re reap some rewards, obviously, with this great bowl game. But also, it's, an, uh, it's the opportunity to continue to compete against a great, great opponent in Iowa. Sam, you had some time to actually study Iowa at this point? You know, it's, it's yeah, every uh, flight, I've had it on my iPad, uh, watching it. Every free moment here uh, I have will take more time tomorrow and really dive into it. But what I see so far is very typical, very well coached football team, uh, very, very big up front in the defensive line, two, two uh, very active defensive tackles, uh, very active at the linebacker, can play man coverage in the back end, offensively very physical. We all know the left tackle is a tremendous, tremendous football player, very tough, very sound in special teams. And, uh, you know, they were 7-3 and three at one point in time. They played a lot of bowl teams on their schedule. So it's going to be a great challenge for us. Coach, as banged up as you guys have been at wide receiver, how important is it that not just a Malone, but Gordon or Jenkins or some of those other guys yeah. continue to step up over the next time? You know, when we talked about resiliency and perseverance, the first position among a lot of positions that come to mind is the wide receiver position. And, uh, you know, that we've been decimated by injuries. And it's opportunities for Vic Wharton. It's opportunities for Ryan Jenkins. You know, it's it's those individuals having great opportunities getting Josh back. So again, uh, these kids have shown great resiliency, and we're going to need them in this bowl game. But it's also very healthy for their future growth and development as well. It looks like Evan was getting some running back work today. Is that more of an experiment, or is it more going to be more of a sustained base? Yeah, both. Uh, you know, our depth going into the bowl game at running back. Uh, Evan did play running back at high school, so uh, that and then the great thing about bowl practices is you take the first couple bowl practices and if there's individuals you want to see play different positions, it's a great time to get a jump start on spring football and Evan Berry's done a tremendous job. He's making great strides at safety, but it was an opportunity to, today to see what he could really do with the ball in his hands. Also, an opportunity for you to teach them that this is what we do in December in Tennessee is bowl practice. It's not acceptable. What's it like to be able to instill that with this group? Well, you're exactly right, and that is one of the great benefits of being in a bowl game is it's getting back to the standard and the expectations in Tennessee football. Tennessee football is not supposed to be home for the holidays. 
And you know we're embarking on our 50th bowl appearance as a proud football program. And that's the standard and that's the expectation. And that is also one of the things that we continue to talk about. We spoke about it today in our football meeting is the standards and the expectations of our football program in moving forward. And there's a price to be paid for success. And it's very, very difficult. It's sacrifice, it's a mentality, it's everything that's required. And you know, uh, the great thing is, is I'm sure most of our families will get together in Jacksonville. They'll be around their families. Uh, it's an opportunity, again, staying at Sawgrass. It, it's just a lot of great things and they deserve it. But also it's the standard that we expect here at Tennessee to be playing in, in bowl games. Good? All right, thank you.